Okay, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, and the name there is Uniservo, just like this channel, uh, the other day, yesterday I think it was, I tweeted out a picture of my truck full of stuff. Much of it was wrapped and you couldn't tell what it was. There were some guesses, and eventually people figured out it was CDC. And yes, here's one of them. I'm going to make videos on this stuff as I pull it out, hopefully. Or as I get time. <laughs> okay, this here is the unit that was closest to the rear of the truck in the picture. So I guess it was closest to you because, uh, well, that's where I was taking the picture from the rear, of the rear of the truck. It is a 2551 network processor unit. This thing is a special purpose mini computer that was used with cyber mainframes, CDC cyber mainframes. This would have worked with the uh, Cyber 170 and 180. These were, are from uh, basically just around 1980 or so. And uh, these were essentially the front end processors. And what, by that I mean the things that connected all the terminals and the printers and whatever little networking there was, you have to remember, this was a long time ago, so networks were not everywhere. Certainly there were cybers hooked on to, uh, well, the various networks, but, you know, it wasn't like today. Networks were something pro uh, kind of special. But you'd use one of these devices, a 2551. And here we go. As you can see, it's a nice big six foot rack devoid of wheels of course boy is this fun to move and uh let's take a look inside open the door oh, i got good light here and what do we have here on top we have a cyber 18 mini computer now cyber 18 is kind of the follow-up to the cdc 1700 series of mini computers from the early mid 60s and uh well at some point in the 1700s line they decided to kind of change things a bit go with the cyber one uh cyber 18 sorry now what's interesting is i think this is actually an ncr design i think cdc actually just bought the design rebadged i'm not sure but uh, CDC was a weird company like that. Even though they had experience doing all sorts of things, like make mini computers, they made a fair amount of uh, a fair amount of them. The 1700 series was was uh, kind of a it was a player, not a huge player, but it was definitely a player, especially in the process control industry. Um, things like running oil refineries, factories, stuff like that. Anyway, they. Uh, and right around 1980, they uh, came out with the Cyber 18, and uh, yeah, everything's a cyber when it comes to when it comes to a CDC. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. It's a 16-bit mini, just like the 1700s, and we've got plenty of CDC-ness here. You can see it, there's a little LED there that says cassette. That is because. On the door, hanging off the door, is the way you load the brain. This is a data cassette drive. And yes, it looks just like a regular old analog cassette from, well, I guess, the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. Data cassette is nearly the same thing. They're not really compatible because I think the data, the data cassettes do not have leaders. So uh, they expect recordable tape right away. Uh, but yeah, it's the same format, or uh, form factor, I guess I should sh say. And uh, yeah, that's how you hold the brain to this computer, the microcode. And I believe I do have the uh, tapes somewhere. Not sure where, but uh, I do remember getting a bunch of data CDC data cassettes. And um, as far as I know, this is the only CDC thing that used them. We'll see. Anyway, close you up. Weird that it hangs on the door. But yeah, you basically have a lot of your standard mini computer looking things to do here. We've got blinking lights. Those are LEDs up there. Master clear, dead start. Now dead start is CDC's um, 
name for basically booting a system. We've got uh, keypads here. No switches, well, not many switches, but a keypad, so almost as good. And then we have a card cage, and let's open that up. Oops, let's not open the filter. No one wants to look at a filter. They give you a extraction tool, which I am going to just put this down. I'll take, let me take a look at the filter while I put that panel down, and you know what? We're going to put it over here. There we go. We've got this nice tool that they give you, and uh, that is for pulling the cards out. And you can see you hook the card in and pry. I'm not going to pull that one out all the way. I'll pull this one out. I'm going to put you up there for now. And I'm not worried about static discharge today because it is miserable and wet. But uh, yes, this looks very NCR being uh, the cast uh, aluminum or zinc, I don't know, but the cast board stiffener, I don't know, uh, probably did wonders for airflow, uh, but that was that was an NCR thing. I don't know if, if CDC bought the design or if they just rebadged the machines, I'm not sure. Uh, some of these things do have CDC part numbers. So this is the processor. We've got uh, on this side memory, and if you look there, that's looking pretty memory-like. So this doesn't have a full contingency of memory. Oh, I should say that Cyber 18s were used as general purpose mini computers as well. It's just that in these 2551s, well, they used it as the brain. So you might have a um, Cyber 18 doing payroll or something like that. It was general purpose mini computer, 16 bits. But uh, you can see here, we've got uh, nice labels on thing and you can see there it says mu mem well that's probably microcode memory because this is indeed a microcoded machine and we got c1 c2 is a proper control alu arithmetic and we've got uh the io here and uh aq as you see there is probably the aq bus now the aq bus was the old 1700 series bus dating way back to the uh, to the early mid 60s so there is a, you know a certain amount of compatibility here you know that's always a good thing you don't want to uh, you know introduce a new mini computer that's so completely incompatible that you lose customers so so yeah you could actually put some older devices on these cyber 18 minis going down see uh, there's an extra extra cover for the uh, data cassette drive. Then down here is the actual I.O. to the terminals and printers. You can see more switches, a few lights, but yeah, everything's looking very kind of serial-like there. I do not think this actually has a network card, because that doesn't really look network. That might actually be like clock data, clock data, loops. That might actually be, I don't know, 56K card or something like that. I'd have to look it up if I have that information. But yeah, you can see uh, this is where you hook up terminals and stuff like that. Terminals and printers, essentially. There's where you stick your uh, cables through. Yeah, it's a little filthy. This was stored in a trailer uh, when I got it down in New Jersey. Uh, the three trailers just crammed with CDC stuff, and I pulled an awful lot out there. Maybe I should have pulled out more. I actually tried to get some interest in some of this other people and some of this stuff but eh, that, didn't, that didn't go too far cdc you don't get no respect <laughs> anyway let's walk to the back in the truck sorry the light's going to be a little little worse here now yeah, the back is very plain but that's what doors are for okay so we're going to be a little dim here but uh yeah we can see uh <laughs> Typical CDC rat's nest of wire wrap. It took them a long time to get rid of rat's nest wire wrap. Okay, these cables here are important here. This and this, these are the cyber channel cables, and they go down to this cable bay down here. And I'm sorry the light is so bad, uh, but that's what you get in this truck. Um, those are the cyber channels. Oh, that's the backplane to the I.O. 
uh, with the all the RS-232. So they, they did a much neater job there, didn't they? Um, the interesting thing is, on a Cyber 170 or 180, you have the main processor. That's the big super horsepower thing. But it is surrounded by smaller processors. They're almost like little mini computers. And hanging off of pretty much every one of those little, little uh, I.O. processors is a channel interface. So this guy here, this machine here, essentially hung off of one of those I.O. processors built into a cyber mainframe. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of interesting that this, this mini computer gets fed from another mini computer. <laughs> um, with CDC operating systems, a tremendous amount of the operating systems actually lived in the I.O. processors. And you might have 12 or 16 of these little I.O. processors um, that were essentially just like little mini computers. And each one would have a channel, be responsible for a channel, and ha do a job. You might have one channel that uh, is running a tape system, and that's what its job was. It, it ran a little bit of code. Not much code, but a little bit of code that ran the tape system. And uh, this particular unit here ran, uh, was connected to an I.O. processor that uh, ran a little bit of code that, well, was for serving terminals. All right, looking. Oh, yeah, I got to take a look at bus bars, real bus bars on both sides. And you can see uh, something akin to welding cable. I'm sorry, the light. There's a power supply there. Big power cord. I don't know if this is a 400 hertz unit or a 120 volt 60 hertz unit. CDC liked 400 hertz, and a lot of their mainframe related stuff uses 400 hertz. Um, and you may think, oh, where are you going to get 400 hertz? Trust me, I can get 400 hertz. I've got a few machines that need to be repaired, but I have potentially the capability to make 135 kVA of 400 hertz three phase uh, over several power supplies. Things that I pulled out of the trailer with all the CDC stuff. I'm not looking forward to moving that motor generator. <laughs> so anyway, there we have it. This is the 2551. Back is maybe not as exciting as the front, so we will go back to the front. Take another quick look at the panel. It's not the sexiest panel in the world, but hey, it's a panel. It's got blinking lights, and yeah, unfortunately, they you can't really see the blinking lights when you know the machine's kind of in operation because well, there's a door. So yeah, I'm gonna need to get this thing up and running. Well, I don't actually need to get this thing up and running because. This was replaced by a much smaller uh, networking box called the DI. And it was a cube about two feet on a side, uh, 68K based, much simpler. And uh, I've got about eight of them. <laughs> so, so if one breaks, yeah, I got another one. And uh, it'd be neat to get this thing running, obviously, but I may start out with a DI. And, oh, the other thing is, my DIs actually do have um, Ethernet interfaces. You know, I suppose when I do get the cybers up and running, you know, that's a long, long-term project. But uh, I could put this and a DI, I suppose. There's, I don't think there's anything stopping you from having two network processors. Um, I'll have to look into that. Uh, I'm still kind of uh, learning a lot about uh, CDC stuff. Um... So yeah, it, it's it. My interest in CDC came all at once, sort of, when I cleaned out um, basically an old reseller of CDC gear, because before that I had none, and then all of a sudden I had a lot. <laughs> and yeah, I will make videos of the stuff. Uh, it's getting moved to my uh, my place here for for you know the permanent place. So uh, yeah, we will get around to that. And uh, just to show you a little bit of. What may be to come? There we got. Ooh, what's in the box? Take a guess. Uh, we got more of those peripheral controllers in the back. I made a video about those, so uh, I do have four of those, two of which I think are just gutted. Um, 
we've got a tape drive back here which i'll get to and uh this is a nice unit this is one of the old 1700 series minis uh this one actually did run an oil refinery uh needs help but uh, this is pretty neat it's a, a mid late 60s design and uh, it actually does have a real front panel under the plastic all right Hope you liked the video. I will uh, get, when I get time, I'm very busy right now, unfortunately. I will make more videos of stuff as I pull them out of the truck. And, uh, hey, if you like the video, leave a like. Leave a comment. Especially if you're an old CDC guy. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, my Twitter is Uniservo. You can always go there and follow me. That's where I post notifications to, uh, uh, to people that I'm making another video or have made another video. Well, I guess I do do uh, some teasers as well. Um, no Facebook. I'm getting rid of Facebook. I'm annoyed by them for several reasons. So yeah, I'm moving pretty much everything over to Twitter. And uh, hope you like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're nearly at 500. A bit of a milestone, I guess. Okay, talk to you later. Bye now.